get uh, your quick reaction now. 35 track and field athletes uh, to represent Nigeria in Paris. Uh, what was your immediate reaction to that list? And which of these athletes do you think can deliver for Nigeria in terms of good medal at the Paris Games? Um, okay, so um, let me start by saying um, I'm not a big fan of, you know, um, going by the word medal, like um, medal, like um, hopefuls. I think that's the cliche. Yeah. I feel it kind yeah, of yeah. puts people under pressure and all that, you know, it's good enough that they carry the weight of Nigeria and they know and understand the task at hand. Um, so I'm just going to like browse through and tell you like the ones that have good prospects. And okay. in terms of when I say once, I mean the, the races and not the athletes particularly, looking at a lot of a couple of factors. Um, before I venture into that, I would say the least once I saw it and I took my time to look at it and like, you know, consider a lot of other factors. I believe we have a water type um, list. I'm really like excited um, for every single person that I, I see on that list. You know, we have an amazing blend of the generational talent and, of course, the very experienced ones. And I believe that's exactly what we need right now. We need the experience. We need the you know the youthful ones and all that. And you know, they are hitting the amazing you know uh, times. Like they are clocking the right times and all. So yeah, I would say everyone um, has a Huge prospects. I believe our relay races, the four by four hundred meters, the the men four by four hundred meters. That's the, then the mixed relay, um, the four by hundred. That's for the men and women. They've got amazing, you know, youngsters and experienced, you know, athletes that can actually pull their weight and ensure we end end up on the medal table. Um, of course, everybody keeps talking about Toby Amusho. Yeah, Toby is a huge one, and um, she understands the task. She's very well experienced. You know, she's going there with one goal. I, I think I saw one of our stories where she said it was time for, for her to like um, learn the new national anthem. Like, yeah, yeah. she understands <laughs> that she knows that she's going from yeah. board. That's that's just it. That's how to know like really prepared for the task at hand. I have a couple of young stars that are doing amazing well that I believe would, you know, have that synergy with the other ones and they can produce medals. We have young stars like Ella that broke it. It's like 27 year old record of her school and she's she's now the fastest i think since 2001 as a quarter miler you know we have some of the guys lead the fastest ever 18 year old in world history you know it, it's been consistent with his um sub 45 he ran sub 45 like three times this season already you know the best being 44 45 too um yeah we have Makinju, who everybody knows turned Stephen to go for Nigeria, the All African Games. For me, I see her as a super anchor. Yeah, she's going for the four by four hundred mixed relay. And seeing normal on that list, they know we keep that hope, but you know what? We are coming up with a medal. You know, we have a lot of amazing uh, youngsters. We have Chief Okezi that practically lifted the team in Bahamas. He, he did the job of like two athletes and he came through for the like both teams same day, you know, got it, getting the automatic ticket to um, the Olympics. We have favor of you that lifted the team to carry Nigeria on her shoulders, ran the second fastest state, you know, in Bahamas, just to ensure that she, you know, um, handed the ticket to Team Nigeria on a platter of gold. You know, we have the four by 100 net. We have a lot of amazing guys on that team, honestly. I may not be able to mention everyone's yeah, name, but yeah, it was very, uh, to my day, 10 point. And correct eight eight this season already you know these are athletes that are going into the olympics you know, with the right mentality they're going you know they're going to be in camp before and that helps a lot in terms of you know team spirit the energy you know getting to peak um in good time for their races so i believe in team Nigeria a lot i believe that that list is watertight everybody that deserves to be on that list is actually it's there okay now let's talk about the super falcons i know apart from the athletes uh the track and field mm -hmm. athletes the falcons uh, of course, uh, another Team Nigeria continent that you are passionate about. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you have projects around them, of course. Uh, a, a couple of the players have landed in Spain for their training camp uh, ahead of the game against Canada on July 17, the friendly mm -hmm. game. Now, issues mm -hmm. around the list before it came out, Francisca Odega, Onomebi. Now, when the list eventually came out, sadly, Alima Tuainde uh, is injured now. Randy Wardrum is going to make That's a change. Yeah. I'm still hurt from Alima Tuainde that I cannot be able to make it to the Olympics. I'm yeah, not happy about it, honestly. Yeah, definitely. So many of us are not happy considering our experience and what she did at the last exactly. FIFA Women's World Cup. Now, just quickly, mm -hmm. now, when the list came out, uh, any surprises for you, uh, uh, of course, in terms of omission or addition, of course, to that list? And these Falcons, tough group at the Olympics. Randy Wardrum uh, told, uh, of course, um, uh, newsman last week that 
is confident that this team can get out of that group against Brazil, Spain, and Japan. Do you share his optimism? And also uh, um, a quick uh, take, of course, on that uh, Super Falcons list. Yeah, so absolutely, I share um, his views. I share like um, his energy. I believe Coach uh, Randy, beyond just being the coach, is like a father figure to the girls. You know, there's a level of um, commitment you would see in a coach that you'd be like, can we borrow this coach for Super Eagles? And I, I'm, I'm, honestly, I'm serious about this. You know? I like the, the fact that the, the girls play for one another. Yeah. That trips me a lot. You know, they, 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 they are more like sisters, you know, they are closely knitted, they love each other, they have each other's back. And I believe that beyond people like talking about group of death, I, I've never labeled out group, group of death. Why? Because I believe that everybody brings something to the table. And for you to make it as top 12 in the world, you know, to be at the Olympics, that means you have the X factor. I really don't know why we're sitting pretty, well, let me say, sitting pretty at, at the, what's it called, FIFA ranking. I believe that we deserve more and the Olympics will be like an opportunity for Nigeria to move further ahead like on the world ranking. So I believe that the girls have a lot to offer in terms of proving everyone wrong. You know, they have a lot to offer in you know, giving Nigerians the bragging right. We like to boast in Nigeria, we like to brag, we like to tell everyone, yeah. you know what, we are superior. You know, so I believe, like I said, they, they know what exactly that at stake. And they're very committed, individually amazing talent, collectively superb. I love the team spirit for me is always a big deal because it goes a long way to boost your morale and you have the right mentality going into every single game. Yeah, so Super Falcons, I believe that they are that they deserve the spot they earned it, and I do not see that group as any threat if you ask me. If okay. On paper, yeah, they might look like it, but I honestly will not give into that pressure of labeling a good group of them. Coach Randy knows what he's doing, you know, and we have some utility players that will step up their game just to make up for Alimato and Gay, who's a I think uh, the injury happened like just a day after the uh, list of yeah. very unfortunate, you know. Yeah. Um, but I believe that we would miss her because she's Alimato and she's lost her world of experience. Because on the field of play, the girls are going to make up for Alimato, not me. We have Deborah. Deborah is a phenomenal player. Deborah is Kante, uh, Kante you know. We have Uchebe that. <laughs> Place, like she carries triple yeah. engine and you find yeah. where do you get this energy from you know we have a change in just one superb midfielder yeah. she's versatile you can play at the first line you know she's called the goals when you need her to do and for for a player that barely played um 16 games i guess with um, juventus in um, italy and she's got 10 goals that's phenomenal that's like out of this world you know we have mommy geo rashida Takibari that we finally call mommy geo you yeah. know she 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 got uh awarded the best um they are the most va valuable player on our team that's that says a lot to what these girls bring to the table even when they play at their various clubs so coming together playing together practicing together and bonding will go a long way improving every single person that might have written them off i i so much believe in this team they have a lot to yeah, offer definitely. the defense is watertight if you have someone like um, i call her the work of the Gibraltar. that's um Osina, she, she has mm -hmm. wealth of experience, she's work solid, she, and she gives this confidence to the younger ones at the back so that they can push forward and join the midfield of attack if needs to. By the time you see her like right behind you, like she's covering up, then you have the confidence to search forward even as a player. So it goes a long way. Like you have Dine, you are tossing that. We've all, always been like praying that she comes back stronger. Yeah, we have um, Chidi Maokiki who, you know, came back in style. That's what I'm going to say because she knew that she had to wrestle for. For that um position and she, from day one she told them to put to nigerians that she got what it takes you know to marshal that part of the um field we have michelle Aluze, you know she's amazing she she's fantastic you can always rely on her and she knows how to you know join the attack you know she knows how to team up with the midfield on the attack so we have you know a bunch of ladies that have nigeria you know and embossed you know right in their hearts you can see it when they play we call them the joy givers and it's just because they know that we need the results they, they know that we want to have the bragging rights and they go all out to make nigerians yeah, proud definitely. of course i'm going to talk about the attack we have assistance i believe that any any defender that sees assistance somehow there's this fear that she drives into your like this okay. is assistance you understand like at babola we have the the new lady mcleans that came back she's not new but she's coming back yeah. She's the second highest goal scorer in our league in Russia. That's massive. That's a big one. We have the bullish um, Kinwedu, if I'm right. Yes, yeah, so. yeah. 
Yeah. She's foolish because she can run any defense down. She can win us the penalty, the spot kicks. If we, if we have to, you know, we have Esther Okonkwo. I call her a goal coacher. She knows how to you know, return the goals when Nigeria is really defending on that. And basically, I think we have a complete team, honestly, from defense to midfield to the attack. Uh, those girls, yeah, keep off, of course. Call them us yeah. Oh no, Amaka will not be I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, I'm yeah. so sorry. I need, I need to apologize. I forgot yeah. about Amaka. I'm, I didn't forget about her basically, but it was just like talking. Yeah more about the players amaka we call amaka we know the disappoint like you can always count on amaka you know how you have a goal, goalkeeper and you can go yeah. to bed knowing fully well that the home is secured so amaka sorry you earned you earned this i forgot that i forgot about it but yeah amaka is another amazing player that yeah somehow you can don't you can't take out of you can't even wish out of super yeah, definitely you can't take her out yeah so she's an amazing talent and she's one of you know those assets we are taking into this tournament and i honestly believe that our girls are going to become Olympics, other yeah. cakes. They are all cakes already, but other cakes by the time we're done with the Olympics. That's how much I believe in their abilities. Yeah, definitely. Thank you so much, Ifeoluwa. Time, sadly, not our friend when we talk sports. We'll find another day to bring you uh, the, uh, okay. a couple of other issues, of course, that we've not uh, touched base with uh, this morning on the show. Thank you so okay. much. I do I enjoy the rest of your day in Canada. I know that uh, you have to, of course, um, uh, inconvenience yourself uh, due to the difference in time.